In the previous video, I tinkered a little bit with the filtering of intra-area routes, or well, I established that it's not possible to actually prevent the router from learning networks in OSPF link state database, but we can stop pre or prevent the router from installing them into the routing table. I use the distribute list command with an access control list. However, in some situations, the it's not that easy to actually use access control list as a matching mechanism in terms of what should or should not be installed in the routing table. The better uh, the better tool to do the job is called prefix list. So this is going to be a maybe topic of this little lab here. But before we do that, um, I'm going to emulate some networks with their variable length subnet masking. So for for example, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to jump on R2 and create some loopbacks and with different network mask length. So I'm going to go to here and create a bunch of loopbacks and they will be emulating OSPF networks shortly. So interface loopback 10, for example, IP address will be, let's say 10.2.2.1 with a mask. Let's go for 248. So that's a slash 29 bits. Now the subnetting is going beyond the scope of this video, but I'll put some description uh, uh, links in the description box uh, so you can do some reading if you need. Now, so the network is from 0 to 3 and uh, 4 is my next, sorry, 8, 0 through 7. So uh, 0 is network, 7 will be broadcast because that's 3 bits, 8 values. And 8 is the next value. So I'm going to go for 11 and IP address will be 9 here with the same mask. The next loop back will have IP address so from 9 up to 16, 15, 16, so look back 12 IP address will be 17, but I'm going to change the mask to slash 240, which is slash 28. And the last loop bug I'm going to create is going to be so from 17 to 31. So 33 is my next um, available address. So 13, 33 is the first host in 32 network and the mask is 224 which is slash 27. So right now I have those um, do SIB. Now a SIB is a show IP interface brief. It's my alias uh, include um, do show run include alias. In the global config command, I created this on every router alias exec. This is my equivalent of this command. That's why I can use SIB or do SIB. So I have all these networks subnets here and how do I advertise them in OSPF? I'll go to OSPF router OSPF one and I'll say run OSPF protocol on any interface uh, which starts with 10.2.2 anything. So I have to match on the first three bytes which is zero, zero, zero and ignore the last one which is all once we talked about it and I'll place them in area zero. So now do show IP OSPF interface brief. I have all these, all these in, in OSPF. However, the trouble with OSPF and loopback is that it is not going to advertise them as they are configured with slash 29, 28, 27 subnets. It always advertises them as slash 32. So if I go back here, um, show IP route OSPF include anything 10.2.2. So they are all advertised as slash 32. So to rectify that, I'm going to go to global config mode, interface range, loopback 10 through 13, do IP OSPF network point to point. When I do that on every loopback interface, so on all loopbacks, I have now this show run interface loopback as an example, if I enable this point-to-point -point network, uh, it is going to advertise this as slash 29 exactly. So now if I do the same thing, since I changed this on all loopbacks, now I see the network subnets as they actually are configured on those loopbacks. The masks are fine. So how do I filter out those? I'm going to use a prefix list command in iOS. So conf t the syntax goes like this, IP prefix list, 
what follows is the name of the prefixes. I'll say deny r2 maybe submits submits. What follows is a sequence number, which I can do if I don't. System starts with five and increments every five. I can put the description, and so what it does is just text, does nothing. I'm going to focus on my sequence number five. I, if I don't specify one, it's going to be a, a added to this. And I'm going to say deny. What I want to deny. So, okay, do, um, sh let's go, do show IP route OSPF include 10.2.2. Okay, so this is my uh, uh, output currently. Nothing is being uh, filtered out. So I'm going to say IP prefix list. Uh, name will be deny r2 subnets. 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 And I'm going to say this. So if I, let's just say for the argument's sake, if I want to deny this particular subnet from entering the routing table, I would need to give this exact match. An exact match in IP prefixes list is exactly what it is here. And I will hit enter. Obviously, I have to deny that. Okay, so I'm denying that exact match. So it takes the address of a here of a network and what the network mask is. So address of a network and what the actual exact match in the routing table is. However, it acts like access control list. So if there's nothing permitted, they, there's an implicit deny everything else. I need to permit something. So if I want to permit everything else in the prefix list, it's, pre, it's permit. And we will not be checking any address and network mask. Zero, 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 slash zero. However, if I don't add an operator, and there are two operators, GE for great or equal, LE for less, or equal. If I don't include that operator, it's exact match like here. And that there is a such exact match, it's called default route. So that's the gateway of last resort. To allow every other subnet, I need to add this less or equal 32 bits. So what I'm saying here, do show run include prefix. What I'm saying here is check if there is a, a entry which exactly matches 10.2.2.8 slash 29 and we have it right here in the routing table and deny that but we need to permit something so we'd say any address and don't check any bits in the address that's what it stands for but if I didn't, didn't use operator, that would be exact match. That would be exact match, which is the default route. But when I say less or equal 32 bits, that means any address with any network mask. That's like permit any in access control list. Now I need to apply this in the routing process. So router OSPF1 and say distribute list, distribute list. And, and I'm going to need a name of that. So let me just copy the name real quick here. Distribute list. And question, nay, I will use prefix list now with that name inbound. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm instead of using access control list, I'm using an IP prefix list with that name. So when I display the routing table now, that exact match 10.2.2.8 slash 29 is gone. So if I, I leave those commands, the, the distribute command in the process, I'll be just changing the, 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 the statements in the prefix list. So I'm going to remove that statement now. So I'll say no IP. And this was a sequence number five in my prefix list. I'll remove it. So I have everything back in my routing table. So eight is back in. What if I want to remove, let's just say, anything that is 29, and if I had 29 and 30 and 31 bits, I want to remove them all when they start with 10.2.2. Obviously, I don't have 30 and 31, but imagine that I do. So anything 10.2.2.2. So how would I do that? So I would, use, I would use the same statement. Where's my statement? Deny. And it's going to be um, uh, 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 sequence five for the argument's sake. And I'm going to deny now anything that starts with 10.2.2.anything. And I'll be checking 24 bits. So any address 
in the of the net of the subnet that starts with 24 bits 10.2.2 and has a mask greater or equal 29 so what i'm effectively doing is if without this that would be exact match 10.2.2.0 slash 24 which i don't even have but if i add an operator greater or equal 29 i'm saying anything that is 10.2.2 24 bits and its mask is 29 or higher 29 30 or 31 or 32 which i don't have so i'm going to deny that and sequence 10 is already oh, sequence is before deny sorry sequence 10 sequence 5 sequence 10 is already there i don't have this command do show run include prefix so I have this now 5 here, and what I'm denying is anything that starts with 10.2.2. Anything mask 29, 30, 31, 32. So if I do show IP, now anything 29 and higher is, is removed, about 28, 27 are left in there. So let me remove that statement. No. So I'll have everything back again in my routing table. What if I wanted to remove anything 27 or um, or below that, maybe 25, 26, 25, 24, if I had those? I would use a similar statement, only the operator would be less or equal 27 bits. So 27, 26, 25, 24. So all, all, if I hit enter, what, all, all is going to be left inside the routing table is slash 29, so uh, slash 28, three prefixes. Let's see that. And we have those. Okay, I'm going to remove that statement again. And what the last one is, what if I want to leave, so I have everything back in, what if I want to leave and R1 should be able to move the packets towards this subnet, but not the other three. These two should not be there, and this should not be there. So I can use two statements to do that. So I'll use basically something like this. Deny, so six, sequence 5 is denying 10.2.2.0, we check the 24 bits, which need to be 10.2.2, but less than 27, and the 6 number, next sequence, so the next statement will be greater or equal 29. So that should remove anything 27 and below that, and anything 29 and above that. So now do show run section prefix. I have now two statements and permitting everything else. So that is going to leave for in that network, obviously it's going to leave, uh, and every other network obviously, uh, is going to leave uh, this particular prefix. So if I display my routing table, that's what's left. And that's how we can prevent something from if some prefixes from entering the routing table in a more robust way using IP prefix list.